surprise, 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 another Hollywood star, another Holly weird artist came to money, power and fame via the sacrifice of a loving mother. Now that sounds great if we're talking about sacrificing time and sacrificing maybe your own wants and dreams. Oh, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about using your other child as a sacrifice. Oh, but a mother would never. Oh, but a mother's love. There is nothing more powerful. And yet, here we find ourselves once again, a mother going out of the realms of a mother's love, sacrificing and doing horrific things to her children for the sake of money, power and fame. And y'all still surprised about it. That's why I wanted to make this video because I was listening to this Truth Talk video. I think it's his, his channel's called Truth Talk or Truth TV, whatever, right? And you know what? One of the reasons why I've stopped talking a lot, a lot about the entertainment industry because it's the same story over and over again. And I'm sick of people being surprised. I actually am. I'm no offense, guys. I know. If you didn't know, then it's obviously shocking to you. So that's understandable. Don't get me wrong. But from my end, where like it's a lot of it has just been so obvious to me for a long time. So I kind of get a bit sick of like, and here's another example of everything I've been telling you guys for over 800 videos. And here's another example of everything I've been telling you guys for over 800 videos. I get a little bit sick of it, you know, sometimes because first of all, it upsets me in general because when we don't accept these truths, y'all, when we're not willing to a belief that people are really capable of the worst out there, it actually protects the people doing the worst. That's my thing. It's not that I'm like a pessimist. I'm actually pretty optimistic and I hope for the best and I pray for the best for everybody. Really, I do because I don't want to see nobody suffer. Not one child, not one adult, not even my enemies. I don't want to see anybody suffer, right? Not even my haters because I've been through pain myself, right? And that's why I get so passionate about this type of stuff and so annoyed because it's like every time we're not receiving truth, every time people like me get called conspiracy theorists or it sounds crazy what we're saying, we're protecting the perpetrators, right? And then the people being affected are just left because that's essentially what happened to Alison, Mariah Carey's younger sister, who essentially was the one being used for all these satanic rituals. She's the one who, so it turns out, backstory a little bit, um... So Mariah Carey's mum was an opera singer, so obviously I guess her gifts and talents went to her daughter, clearly. You know, again, this is a very spiritual thing. I'm just going to throw the sprinkle in that in there. I believe that just like how... The, I believe that things pass through generations, even skills as well, because I believe that was always God's intention for, like, different people to have different things that run through families. So, yes, obviously Mariah Carey's mum sang. She was heavily involved in the occult. Now, interestingly enough, she used to take Mariah Carey's sister, Alison, this is according to Alison, right? to these satanic cults where there would be people in the robes, you know, you name it. I don't need to say what kind of societies we think we're talking about here. You guys know what I'm what I'm alluding to, right? And so um, Alison used to be involved in that. And obviously there's all kinds of abuse because everything to do with the kingdom of darkness always in view, uh, in views, involves um, abuse, always involves things like violence, death, blood, sexual abuse, all of that type of stuff. Because as I always say to you guys, things work opposite in the opposite two kingdoms. In the kingdom of light, when you do good things, when you do right things, when you do act appropriately, when you treat people with respect, when you give people consent, all that type of thing, that is favoring the kingdom of light and the king and you will plant seeds for you to reap in the kingdom of light. When you do the opposite, you're planting seeds in the kingdom of darkness. That's why these guys have to do these crazy satanic rituals. I think when a lot of them initially get into this stuff, they don't actually necessarily enjoy doing it, but it's what's required. You know what I'm saying? I even told you guys how blood is the currency of the spiritual world. Go and check out that, that video in my contracts playlist because I explain exactly what blood has to do with everything and all of that in that video. But the important thing I'm trying to say here is in the kingdom of darkness, there has to be an exchange, right? There has to be an exchange in both kingdoms. There has to be an exchange because it is a transactional experience with the spiritual world, right? So anyway, Alison was taken to these rituals. Uh, Mariah was not interestingly enough. So fast forward now, you've got Mariah who seems to have been in a good relationship with her mum because I've seen pictures of them like cuddling and kissing to each other and stuff like in interviews or whatever. Meanwhile, Alison has been struggling with substance abuse and um, living on the streets to like working on the streets just to make money and stuff like that, um, which doesn't make any sense, right? Because you would think obviously with Mariah and what she's done and everything that at least she would look after her sister. But then again, a lot of people, this is another reason why I have a lot of grace 
for people in certain situations, addicts specifically is a group that I have a lot of grace for because a lot of those people who become addicts or even homeless, there is a reason how they got there. Like people, I don't believe, I don't know why it was weird about us in society today that we like kind of just act like people wake up one day and think, oh, you know what? Goal in life, become an addict. I want to become an addict. I want to become so addicted to something that it destroys myself, my body and my life and the people around me. Oh, that is exactly what I want to do. I don't believe that people do that. So I find it weird that we kind of treat addicts as if like, you know, oh, they just woke up one day. A lot of the reasons people get onto substances in the first place is because they're trying to, you know, escape their pain or cope with their pain, etc. So I don't judge people for any type of addiction, to be honest. I do think eventually you really do have to dig deep and put yourself where you need to, to deal with the addiction. Don't get me wrong, right? I'm not saying we're giving people a pass here in life to be destructive, but I'm saying we've got to be understanding and we've got to get to the root cause because, you know, anyway. So why am I making this video? I'm making this video once again to reinforce something that I say, some things that I've said all the time, right? When we in society, like I said already, are the reason why I believe I live in the real world, let's start there. I believe I live in the real world because I know that human beings are capable of everything and anything. That's why, and everybody is capable of everything and anything. I think we're all born maybe more susceptible to doing certain things than others, i.e. some people might be born more susceptible to be turning into a liar. Somebody might be born more susceptible to be turning into a hoe. Somebody might be born more susceptible to, be, to turn into being a murderer, let's say, right? But all of those things are negative. All of those things are going to be partnering yourself with the kingdom of darkness just because what you only do one thing and not the other doesn't make you better than somebody else we're all technically capable of everything and that's what I that's where I stand that's why I just I don't make these assumptions I don't look at life and think oh just because somebody has a mother or a father or a this or a that 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 must mean that they had they grew up with love or they grew up with this that's why I've even said to you guys before that there's a lot of people who grew up with two parents who still grew up with no parents in my humble opinion there's a lot of people who grew up with a father but their experience was as though they were fatherless there's a lot of people who've grown up their whole life who've had friends but it's like they've never had friends before do you guys see what I'm saying and so because you don't know the, what actually was going on we just know what's on the surface and I think when we assume when we assume then what ends up happening is the perpetrators end up becoming protected so what ended up happening as well let me tell you guys a story that I saw online it was really sad the other day basically this woman had discovered that her daughter her, her daughter I don't know she she had a feeling or something that her daughter had been sexually abused basically right in and she didn't know where where this was coming from I can't remember how she worked it out I think she picked up the signs which a lot of the signs in children are like them being overly sexualized and knowing about stuff like that and a lot of that whatever and so she went to her husband because she was like, oh, I need to tell my husband because I'm so concerned about my daughter, our daughter, like blah, 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 blah. He's like, we're, let, let's do this together. We're going to work and find out who's doing this. Like, let's, we've got to protect our daughter, yada, yada, yada. Fast forward, he was the perpetrator. I can't remember how she found out. Oh yeah, I think she spoke to the daughter because she just had that mother, the true motherly instinct. She was operating in her kingdom of heaven, mother, motherhood, right? And she, re she asked the daughter because she just couldn't, not do anything she felt the instinct and the daughter basically opened up to the mum and was like yeah it was dad and she was able to sort out the situation um and him I think he they got him arrested etc whatever whatever right point being here that I'm not saying and I'm never gonna say to people that let's assume the worst I'm gonna say let's be open to anything as in and it even goes to dating because a lot of people nowadays right this is such great advice guys I'm so sorry I don't really like to give advice because I feel like I'm not qualified but on this regard I think I'm actually giving good a good advice I think we should let people write their own story and come into everything with an open mind and not assume anything that's what I think we should do because like I said it could be even in dating you see this happen all the time in dating where I saw this literally today I was watching this dating show and I saw like one of the people on the dating show was just making all these assumptions like it was two people that were dating and they both had uh, children but they were both single parents basically and this guy and this girl this guy and this girl yeah and this girl just started making all assumptions about the guy based on obviously her experiences which is a lot of the time where our so-called wisdom comes from our experience. So if you've been exposed to a certain type of thing, that's the other reason why we've got to come into things with an open mind. Because a lot of people, for me, I think are severely immature if you're so quick to assume things are going to be based on the things that what you have personally seen, if that makes sense. That is a very unwise place to come from. Because that's what this woman was basically doing. She was basically saying like, oh, 
uh, you better have respect for your baby mama, you better have respect for this. And the guy was like, I do respect her. In fact, I, you know, blah, 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 blah. So you can see that he didn't even have like any weird toxic relationship. He was like, it just didn't work out. We were high school sweethearts and it just didn't work out. And so this is where we're at. Like he was very like chill about it, but she was all coming off the, off the edge, like trying to, trying to catch him out to like try and talk badly about the woman, which he wasn't doing. And then when we found out from her, why, why she broke up with her, um, baby father, it was because he was cheating all the time. So I'm like, okay, so you're just projecting, you know what I'm saying? So there's that as well. But anyways, right. What I'm trying to say here, guys, basically is we've got to look at every situation with an open mind and be prepared to believe the, be prepared to hear the best and be prepared to hear the worst. Of people be prepared for somebody to way outdo your expectations and be prepared for somebody to like completely destroy your expectations because like i said most importantly of all for me with this particular subject area comes down to the children because what was happening back in these days with um allison and mariah carey as as children is mariah is getting this opportunity to become a singer she's having this one experience right and for us seeing her with her mum, most people are going to sit there and go oh my gosh this is so amazing like look at what she's achieved look at who she's become her mom must have worked so hard her mom is so supportive wow i one day i want to be a mom like mariah carey's mom right but we don't know what's happening with the other children and can i be honest can i be for real can i be for real for real i really believe right from the, I believe that our, the fruit of our actions will always show itself. And I believe the clearest fruit you can have in people is their children. All of them, not just one of them, because it's very easy. This happens a lot as well, by the way. I've been noticing this kind of sibling situations that goes on in the entertainment industry because I was I was finding out some very interesting things about like Beyonce and Solange and all these, a lot, a lot of other people and the differences, right? We've even spoken about Kris Jenner and how people always joke, although it's true, it's true and it's scarily true, that whoever Chris's favorite child was always the one that's making the most money at the time. So it was Kim, then it was Kylie because Kylie was doing this, that and the other. We laugh about it and we joke about it, but this is real stuff. And these are real issues that people then take into their adulthood. Some people it works out for them because they're like Mariah Carey, who's made it very clear in her music that she's happily sold herself off to the, to the devil and she's happy with what she's got going on with him and everything, right? But then you look at somebody like her sister, right? And people might just be like, oh, imagine like, you look at her, she's let herself go. You don't even know what she's been through, right? And so we've got to look at all of the different areas and we've got to care, guys. We've got to believe the worst is possible because this is how we're going to protect the children. A lot of times that perpetrators are getting protected. I'm going to keep saying it, right? Because I want you guys to have this phrase in your head. Perpetrators will be protected when we are unprepared to accept the worst is capable of anyone. Of anyone. And also, lastly, we'll leave it at this, right? Actually, we may, I may make one more point afterwards. Also, we need to start getting to the point where when we see certain types of behaviours in people, we, quite, we don't instantly write them off in a bad way, like I was saying with addicts, or even like people who've been to prison. Because there are another, people who've been to prison are another group of people I have a lot of grace for, right? Because a lot of people in prison, a lot of them, their life, the life they've lived or, you know, the environments they grew up in, is what steered them in that direction. And as somebody who comes from the black community myself and has seen people and dealt with a lot of people who've dealt with prison and looking at their lives versus certain benefits I've had in my own life, like small things, what well, might be small to somebody else, but is would be huge to them. I can see how these different things protected even people like me from following down certain paths, you know what I'm saying? And so what I'm trying to say with this is when we see certain things, we need to stop just writing people off because, oh, you're this you're an addict, you're a prisoner, you're a whatever. We need to start questioning what's the root of this? Like, where did this come from? Because a lot of times it comes back to this stuff. That's why even with the entertainment industry people, and this is why I get frustrated with people's opinion of entertainment stars. They'll be like, oh, entertainment stars, they always go off the edge. They always go off the rails. No, they're not going off the rails because of the entertainment industry. Because if they if that if they were weak enough that the, end, the industry itself and the work they had to do was so hard for them, then they wouldn't be able to show up and do the work and we wouldn't be their fans and we wouldn't know about them. The thing that's overtaking them isn't that, it's the other stuff that we don't know about, that we don't believe. And they don't talk about it because nobody believes them. And it's so interesting that Alison, after she actually came out, started to talk about this stuff, obviously somebody came to her house trying to rob her. Well, it, what, what, what many would think would be trying to rob her, but they didn't want to take anything. In fact, they were trying to take her out. They were trying to kill her. I wonder why. Because if this information gets out, if we as human beings actually wake the flip up and realise that people are capable of doing these things and this is really what is going on in Hollywood, a lot of the time, I'm not going to say all of the time, 100% of the time, but a lot of the time, right? And then Mariah, who just happened to get lucky, because that's another way that the kingdom of darkness will trick us all in life because we think, oh, to become successful in the entertainment industry, you have to get lucky. 
not true luck does not exist i'll tell you guys that for free and i'll tell you that guys that for free and for right now luck does not exist luck is not a part of the equation everything has a a, a root and a starting point it's just that the starting point is usually in the spiritual world which we cannot see and most people don't even believe in which is the perfect disguise for the kingdom of darkness and the perfect deterrent from the kingdom of light because if you don't believe in things that are spiritual then you're not going to believe that the kingdom of darkness even exists and is even at work which means it can overtake you which is why the world is the way it is today which is why everybody i'm waking up and constantly i'm hearing oh so and so is diagnosed with this now so and so has been through this it's just going through more and more death destruction what does the bible say the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy right that's what the state of the world is looking like we're supposed to be the apex the the, be the best form of all humanity the most intelligent this that and the other and yet we are the most plagued with mental health issues with bodily health issues all these different things right and somehow and we and we don't know where it comes from we think it's just natural we think it's just normal because we don't believe in the root of where these things started and the people who do know they don't want you to know because they don't want you to benefit off of it they don't want you to be doing rituals and, and, and thriving like the way that they are I mean they're not thriving do you know what I'm saying and do you know why they especially don't want you to do that it's not even that they don't want you to benefit off of what they're doing they don't want you to realize that if that exists because that's why Satan has to disguise himself because if you believe he exists and you believe everything that's true about the spiritual world that means that you can see the kingdom of light which means you can see that as an option which that's what the kingdom of darkness really doesn't want to do because the kingdom of darkness ultimately wants to lead you to death and the kingdom of light ultimately wants to leave you to life right and so that's why they don't want you guys to believe this stuff as well because if you believe that then you know oh really is that what's happening because if that's what's happening that means that that god also must be real and what god is saying about himself must also be real and actually i can choose that side and i can actually thrive i can actually be happy because the the fruit of the spirit in the kingdom of heaven love joy peace kindness patience goodness self-control do you see what i'm saying the other side of the scripture Christ, um the enemy comes to kill steal and destroy but jesus came to give us life and life abundantly life live life and life abundantly a good happy fulfilling loving stable substantial life you know what i'm saying and most importantly as well just to say this that people do choose we as women as men we choose what side we want to sit on and unfortunately we have to accept that yes even mothers even women as loving as we're supposed to be as god intended we do and we can choose the kingdom of darkness and when we do we are an even more dangerous weapon in my humble opinion because nobody looks at it that way because they just see us cuddling our kids around with the children seemingly doing everything that is the perfect that i can't think of a more perfect disguise for evil in this world than that so anyways guys that's all i've got to say for this video i wasn't even planning on filming but when i heard this i was like i need to, i gotta get this off my chest also so i've got to like sort out some of the videos i'm supposed to be uploading but i'm so busy with work literally I'm about to start um a session in like 12 minutes and i gotta go to teach more lessons i've got so much to do but anyway thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe um please do subscribe guys i'd really appreciate it we finally hit 500 we finally hit 500 i was so nervous to share a video after 500 yeah but um yeah we finally hit 500 please do subscribe let me know your thoughts in the comment section whether you agree or disagree like the video don't forget to check out the blood is the currency of the spiritual realm video in the contracts playlist don't forget to head over to twitch links in the description box because i am live streaming every now and then guys i'm trying to get into twitch i actually already prefer twitch to youtube i've only done two live streams and i can already tell that i just prefer twitch already um also subscribe to us on rumble as well because at the one winning team on both um because you know we just we're just making sure that we're keeping ourselves on multiple platforms there is also at the one winning team tiktok as well so everything should be in the description box anyway thank you guys so much for watching if life's a game then let's play to win god bless every single one of you watching this and i'll see you in my next one goodbye